Well, good day, guys, and welcome to the episode of Team Mad Monarch Fishing Adventures. Well, today I'm uh, teaming up with uh, a couple of young guys, uh, keen to get into some uh, sport fishing land base. Now, our uh, plan is uh, we just arrived at the pin here, do a little land base fishing in the pin, uh, catch some mullet. I've also uh, bought some uh, nice fresh yakas off. Uh, Mr. Bait, Flank Rosaro, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, send a few out and see how tonight goes. Let's get into it. Alright guys, the rig we're using tonight is very, very simple. There's basically a spider weight, a uh, surf sinker, uh, breakaway, whatever you want to call it. We're using this here purely because it's got big current here. So I'll grip into the sand, then we come down to a swivel, 80 pound mono, Coming down to a pair of Tecum 8 Now these are hooks and also the bait, which is Yakka, we get from Mr. Bait, Frank Rosaro down there at Hammett. What we're doing, first hook just goes through the head, nice and firm, and second hook goes in the tail. It's that simple. And uh, just, to, just to close the deal, half hitch around the tail. Throw that out and that's an absolute unreal bait for your estuary systems and also beach going. Alright guys, so what we're doing, the bait is on. Whipping it basically as far as we can out. Then it goes to the bottom. Good thing about bait runners, engage the bait runner nice and free. When that uh, fish picks up the bait and starts running, all you basically, that's a tide at the moment, but all you basically have to do is wind, strike, and you're on to normal drag. Bait runners, really good, look into them. Oh, we're all hooked up on the uh, bait runner and absolutely dumping us. Hang on. It's a long way out, darling. So uh, on this particular rig, there was a yak on a snelled rig. Uh, hopefully targeting, hopefully targeting shovelies. But we'll see what we'll bring up if we stay connected. Oh, just a bit lively there. Is that you? If the braid hit that, it'd bust it off. So when this gets in closer, Lily, you can have a little go, okay? When it's tied. Well, I don't think it's a shark. It, might it hasn't be bitten us off yet because all mine's all mine's mono. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hey Lily, you want to turn your torch off, please? Does she want to have a go? Oh, no, nah, not yet. Not until it gets tired. It's not really lively. Oh, if you do, we'll... Can I have a try now? Yep. There you go, Lil. You ready? <coughs> Hand up here, darling. Up higher. Hand up higher, yep. yep. Put it between your legs. Between your legs. So it's longer. There we go. Help me to... I'll hold you. I've got your jumper, okay? Yeah. So you're not going to fall in. Just don't let go. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right. I'm just staying here, so just no, don't let go. <laughs> Jesus. Here, give me that. I'll, I'll hold where? the back of your jumper, okay? Just so you don't get pulled forwards. Is that good, Dad? Do we need that? Or? Uh, yeah, no. No, don't touch that. <laughs> Is <it> alright? <laughs> Can you soften this? No, you can't loosen the drag, baby. Do you want me to help you a bit, Lily? Pull it up. Yeah. Right, lift. Lift like I told you. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Wind down. And, and wind then... down. Wind. That's the one. That's the one. Pull it up. <sighs> Give it to Benny for a bit, baby. It's a little bit hard for you. <laughs> Dad knows how to catch the fish. Oh, there he's up. <laughs> Lively again. See, luckily, it didn't do that while you were holding it, darling. Taking another big run. Like that. Yeah. I got the torch in my pocket. 
So I'm back on him. Swimming back towards you, is it? Yep. Hope it's a shovel, Uh If it's going to be a shovel, I think it's going to be over the 1.5, Dylan. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but then in saying that, white spots go so hard. They do. You got your browns. That's the guitar your... fish, isn't it? The yeah, pretty spot. much, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, got your, you got your browns, which is your common, shovely. Yep. Um, they fight good, they eat okay, but when it comes to your white spot, that's where your table fish is as well. Really? Yep. Yeah, they're Double very, guys. very, very underrated. That's great. Yep. Cool, man. I've got that's my torch in my pocket so you can see. Just... Yeah, if it's if it's legal, definitely sink that in because I'll take a feed home. Yeah, bro. We'll divide it up. Yeah. Trust me, you guys will love it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of flake, but that's just me. Oh, really? Bro, yeah. You're Never. It. Never liked it. Yeah. Really? Show us that, bro. Just uh, rods. Might want to drop drop those rods. Kill. I reckon go to the other side of these boats. I'll keep an eye on this rod while you guys do What's the gear you got, Yeah, we've cleared it easy. Yep. Go this side. Oh, we're going for another run. <laughs> All that line you just got back is gone. Yep. Now get back into him. So we're uh, on to the eight minute mark now. And uh, we've got probably, I guess, probably 200 odd meters of line out. Big old tug of war going on. Just remember guys, when you're in the middle of fighting fish, try not to play with the drag. I know it's really hard to try and put that little bit more pressure on. So what, we're, what we've actually done here guys is uh, jumped in the boat. He's actually gone around some sort of structure. So we're going out to see if we can get him off. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out past and see what happens. Does it feel like it's still snagged? Does it little feel bit. like it's still snagged there? A little bit. Yeah. So it might go around the other way, around that snag. Is he running now? Yeah. Might have got him off. So what we're doing is uh, just reversing very slowly back into shore. Uh, we got it off the snag, which is absolutely fantastic. So now taking it back to shore so we can deal with it there. He's going again. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's going. He still has energy left. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm glad we got it off that um, that snag. Yeah. Was it on? Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, look, we just went back and forth until we figured out which way you oh, went around. Nice. Yeah. We went around well to the right first, didn't come off, so we went back around to the left. Oh, uh, well done. And it popped off. Oh, amazing. Ooh. Yeah, he's coming. All right, we're in about the 15 minute mark now. He's coming this way. Yeah. He will take, if it is a shovel, he'll take a run when he gets closer in. Yeah. How you going there, Lil? I don't have it. Now, how are you? Good. <laughs> About uh, 
Uh, eight, nine metres out, just drops down to three metres. True. So we hit the 25 minute mark now. Been an awesome battle. Took scream and run, went around the snag, took the boat out, got it off the snag, and now we're back into it and we've got the first glimpse of him. I reckon, Ben, he might be moving closer to the shore now. Yep. Do you, do you wanna? Yeah, well, all right. Well, I got him close before yeah. by running up next to him and then we can run yep. out with the gap and get him. So, gain line, gain line, gain line. Lots of line. Keep winding, keep winding, keep winding. Grab that, grab that if you can. Oh my cow. There he is. Like that. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him go, let him go. <laughs> oh <my> no! <laughs> <laughs> He was in power, eh? He's big, man. Oh, Damn. Well, technically we've caught him <laughs> by game fishing rule standards because you've touched him. Oh, he's so big. He's really big. <laughs> he's like, yeah, no, nah, not yet. I've touched him. Yeah. Oh, man, he's a monster. Got him? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Get a hold of him. Come down here, buddy. <laughs> I need help. Oh, it's big. Yeah, drag, get him up a little bit if you can. But like put your. Put your hands underneath his flaps and guide him up that way. Yep. Got him. Yep. Oh, what a donkey. Well, congratulations, boys. <laughs> Job very well done. <laughs> what That's a monster. A big one. He's a big guy. <laughs> right. okay. Yep. Get in behind him, guys, get a quick photo. Hey, I'll put the rod there so you get an idea of size. Yep. Right, lift him. We're gonna help you, mate, come on. Jesus. There you go. There you go. There we go. Woo! Congratulations, guys. Well done. All right, we got uh, Ben all hooked up again. Yeah, not a very big fish, but hey. Uh, there we go, lightening up a bit. Hope it's another shovely. Not quite so big, we want to take some fish home. I literally uh, just re baited up and threw it back out. And uh, no sooner hit the bottom, the old tomato started screaming. Two minutes. <laughs> so this particular uh, reel here is Shimano Bait Runner 12,000, matched with a 24 kilo T curve. Absolute weapon of a uh, combo. He's waking up. <laughs> I don't think it's as big, but 
You never know, it might be playing too. So we shouldn't be too far now. Should be about 30, 40 meters away. Hopefully it's nice and tired. And we get uh, fish on sand. Here we go. Here's leader. What we got? Yep, shovely. And uh, this one we will keep for the table if we can land it. Yep, beautiful. Yeah, please. He's a little bit green at the moment. We got uh, Alex still with some uh, shark rash from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold. Just bring him in and I'll gap him, bro. Alex, yeah. you wanna grab this for a bit? Now the boys are uh, swapping up. We're a bit stuffed. <laughs> Welcome to land-based sport fishing, mate. I oh, know. This is what it's all about. So uh, just put the uh, good old Black Magic gimbal on uh, Alex, mainly to protect the uh, groinal area because you can get a bit bruised in that area. Might be coming in. Yep, here's the wind on coming up. So I got three meters wind on on this one now. Okay. Are you right to gaff it? Yeah. Yep. Where do I gaff it? Uh, just not, not near the mouth. Back of the head? Nah, mid flank. Not yet. When, you'll know when to gaff it. It's still a little bit green at the moment. Yeah, go do that. No, no, that's not how you gaff. Not how you gaff. What, just, just go over the top of it and then lightly come back into it. Hang on, he's seen you. It should be good to go. Over the top of him. No, no, over the top, over the top, over the top. Are you ready? No. Nah. Nah. Trust me, there. Like that, bro. Like that. No, no, no. Nah. Don't be scared of him. Yeah. Over the top. Yep. Bang, bang. Now, underneath him, underneath him. You haven't got in very well. Underneath, mate. So go over top. Oh, so, underneath him, yep. Yep. So you want to get his soft belly part. That's where they're exposed. You'll be right, bro. That way I can see how it's done. Okay. Alright, uh, Alex is taking over the gaffing. Uh, Benny, unfortunately, is uh, very, very new to it, so it's all a big learning curve at the end of the day. Yeah. He tried, a, which is the big, main thing. It is a big learning curve, too. Alrighty. Here we go. Yep. See ya. There we go. Beautiful. You don't like and that. We, and we've got dinner. So what we're going to do, just like uh, bull sharks or any shark, is cut the tail. To get every little mill of blood out of the system, which will make for top eating when it comes to the table. Alrighty guys, there it is. That's how easy it is. Get out there, find a nice sandbar in the uh, jumping pin area, use live baits, spider weights, and you'll probably have some success. Well guys, I hope you two uh, had, a, had a wicked trip. Alex, Benny, welcome to uh, Land Based Sport Fishing at its finest. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button, subscribe until next time. Cheers and good luck. Cheers and good luck.